This is a DEXA scan. It's a low-dose x-ray that measures my lean tissue, like muscle, that's the red you see in the scan, my fat tissue in blue, and it quantifies the density of my bones. It takes about five minutes and you can now get these scans without a doctor's order for as little as $50. So the results are in. Orthopedic sports surgeon Dr. Vonda Wright is a big fan. It's important for us to know what our body composition is, in particular how much muscle mass we have, because there's a difference between what we weigh and what we're composed of. I learned that my bone density is pretty good. Visceral fat, that's the type of fat around your organs that can lead to health challenges. I'm okay there. But for me, a huge focus of my workouts has been building lean muscle. Since I got a DEXA scan last year too, I can see I've actually lost muscle mass, which is honestly disheartening considering I've worked really hard on this. What do you recommend for people who are a little afraid of their results? When people are afraid of the numbers they might find in a DEXA scan or the scale, I wanna remind them that the numbers themselves are not judgments. Instead, Dr. Wright says this info is infinitely helpful in prioritizing lifestyle choices. You can't know where you're going unless you know where you are, but data demands action. Screening guidelines support bone density screening for women over 65 and men over 70, often paid for by insurance. Even though many, including Dr. Wright, think earlier intervention is helpful to improve bone health. And while DEXA scans are getting more affordable and accessible, they aren't the only way to assess body composition. You can see that I'm putting my feet directly on these contacts, the electrodes. In-body machines are found in many gyms and clinics. They use bioelectrical impedance to calculate lean mass and body fat, though they don't give you bone density data. It's not like you feel electrical current going through you. And the same technology is used for at-home scales that measure body fat. The results may not be as accurate as the DEXA scan, but Dr. Wright says all of these devices can be valuable to track progress. You can use the trends over a month or over a quarterly period because data in itself, frankly, is a little useless, but it's data in action that can change your life. Now, it's really important to note that osteoporosis is not just a concern for women. One accounting has about 6% of men over the age of 65% suffering from osteoporosis. And this is one of the reasons why I've been getting DEXA scans more regularly. I want to stay on top of my bone density and muscle mass as I age. Creating that bone now at my age, 54, is a lot easier, Dr. Wright says, than it is for my mom. She's trying to raise her bone density at 81. Um, these are things that we can actually do something about now, guys. Yeah, wow. and you, you, you heard it said there in the piece, data in action. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and the muscle mass information, I find that interesting. Uh, uh, Becky, how, how are you using that information? Yeah, well, it's not something I can directly tie one workout style to, but I'm definitely trying to be more aware of protein, lifting heavier. And because the scan tells you where on your body you're gaining or losing muscle mass, whether it's your arms, your trunk, or your legs, you can target workouts to areas where I've lost muscle and need to work on it. Um, you know, it's, numbers are not judgments, but data in action. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Oh, you're you're doing doing you're not yeah, trying. You're doing, right. you're, Becky. Yes. You look fantastic. You and thank you for doing all this stuff. Uh -huh. You really got to put yourself out there for it, so thank you. Yeah.